Hi guys and welcome back to this part two of this inter VLAN routing challenge. So I've literally just left off from part one guys and what we were doing was we we're configuring the router in this particular example. So what I'm going to do now guys is I'm just going to have a look at my routing challenge. I'm going to see that I've configured um, the sub interfaces on router one. I'm now going to move on to basically configuring the VLAN and port assignments on the switch. Now I can also see guys, I'm like I need to take a note of various different aspects. So the so the instructions, and again, always good point to, to start on the instructions. Um, again, the scenario just talking about demonstrating and reinforcing your ability to implement inter VLAN communication, configuring IP addresses, VLANs, chunkings, and sub interfaces. So what I'm now going to do guys is I'm going to start to basically, I've already started to assign the IP address to R1 and I'm going to start to do that on switch one based on the addressing table. And I also need to configure a default gateway on switch one. And then it's saying then create name and assign VLANs on switch one based on the VLAN and port assignments table. So I'm also going to do those steps now. Um, so let's take it one step at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the first Thing. I'm going to see switch one and I can see it's got a VLAN 99 and I'm going to start to configure that. So I'm going to jump into my switch, I'm going to close down my router for a moment guys and I'm going to open up my switch and bring that up on top. So let's just open that up and let's have a quick look. So I want to go into enable, I want to go show VLAN. So let's have a look at what's going on. At the moment guys I can see pretty much it's a, it's a standard switch. All of its ports by the looks of things are in basically the default VLAN one. So what I've got to do is I've got to obviously move a number of these so you can see 10, 20, 30, 88 and 99 all have basically VLANs and with interfaces associated. So what I'll be doing is I'll be creating the VLANs and I'll be moving the ports. But before I start doing that, what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to create this virtual, this switch virtual interface first. So I'm going to go comp interface um, and I'm going to say VLAN 99 and I'm going to go IP address 172.17.99.10.255.255.255.0 and I'm going to say no shut to that okay and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go out of that I'm going to go um, and I'm going to set the default gateway. So again, I need to set the default gateway and this is the management IP address. So you'll notice there, again, this is for management purposes. But again, in order to, to do this, I'm going to go IP default gateway and I'm going to pop in 172.17.99.1. Once I've done that, I'm happy so far. I've got my switch virtual interface. To check that, I could go show IP interface brief. And right down at the bottom, I'll be able to see now this. Now at the moment, because there's no ports in VLAN 99, the status is down and down. So what I'll need to do in a few moments is I'll need to ensure that I've got my port trunking. So we'll look at that very soon. So I can see the port connected to the, to the router is gigabit zero slash one. At the moment, I can see, um, for example, if I need to do inter VLAN communication, this port has got a allow not just VLAN one only, I've got to allow multiple VLANs. And again, if I look at my show VLAN for a moment, this gigabit zero slash one is in there. So let's fix that problem now. Let's go conf T and let's go switch um, interface gigabit zero slash one. And what I'm going to say is switch port mode trunk. Okay. And this is going to bring up this port. Now again, it's going to take a bit of time, spanning tree is happening there, but what I should start to see now is if I go exit and exit, show IP interface brief. Now what I should be able to see guys is, well at the moment it's still down down, um, and I think I, I did bring that up, let's just give that a second to, to kind of finish the spanning tree process, that's now come up, I've just fast forwarded time, let's just hit the up arrow again, let's just see, it's still showing down down, let's just see guys, did I, did I use the no shutdown command? Um, so, oh, hold on a second, guys. Let's just have a look at show VLAN. Of course, I haven't created that VLAN as of yet. Look, I've only got VLAN 1. So, of course, what I need to do, guys, is I still need to create all my VLANs. So, again, one step at a time. We, we won't have that up, up state just for a moment. So, what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to start to configure those VLANs. So, I'm going to say VLAN 10, 
and I'm going to say name and I'm going to say exactly this because again down here in my instructions it says you need to match the names here. VLAN's names should match the names in the table exactly. So what I'm going to say is VLAN names and in this case for VLAN 10 it's faculty forward slash staff and I'm going to make sure I put it in the same case. I'm going to go exit, I'm going to say VLAN 20, I'm going to say name and in this case it's going to be students, I'll make sure to spend that, spell that correctly. I'm going to go, um, I'm going to say exit and I'm going to go VLAN 30 and in this case it's going to be name guest default. So just make sure there's no spelling mistakes or anything here guys. And I'm going to say VLAN 88 and I'm going to say name native. I'm going to say exit and I'm going to say VLAN 99 and that's going to be our, now you, we can see, look at that guys, can you see that just came up? My VLAN 99 just changed itself to up, that's a good sign and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I put my name on this, so name management, okay, so now guys, now after I've created that VLAN and I've put the, the, the port in trunk mode, let's have a look at that command again, let's go exit, show, oh, let's go privilege mode again, show IP interface brief, okay, now guys this is much much better okay that's what i'd be expecting to see also if i go with show vlan now guys what i'll be able to see is i'll be able to see all of my vlans now at the moment i've got 110 20 30 88 and 99 however i haven't started to put my interfaces in so that's what i'm going to do now guys so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to go comp t i'm going to go interface range and then i'm going to say Okay, I want to go between 11 and 17. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, fast Ethernet, 0 slash 11 to 17. And what I'm going to say is the switch port access VLAN is going to be 10. VLAN 10, isn't that right? Then what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go exit. I'm going to go into interface range. And I'm going to say fast Ethernet, 0 slash 18 dash 24 and i'm going to say switch port um access vlan and i'm going to say 20 in this case for the students and then what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to go into um fast ethernet so interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 6 to 10 and i'm just making sure that i haven't missed anything there, I'm going to say switch port, access, VLAN 30, and I'm going to go exit there, and then finally I'm going to go into interface, gigabit, 0 slash 1, and what I need to do is I'm going to need to move that to the native VLAN. So I'm going to go into switch port, access, VLAN, 88 okay so i'm just having a look now guys and um, i'm going to go exit and what i need to do now guys is the following i need to look at what is my so let's let's just before i do that last one i just want to just double check my switchboard access vlan 88 that's the native vlan let me just go show vlan for a moment Okay, that actually port didn't move and I probably didn't need that command if I'm being honest guys um, for the VLAN native gigabit zero slash one because that is that is actually believe it or not that's um, that is gigabit zero slash one that is basically going to be our trunk port right so again that's our trunk port so that won't appear in here so that's correct actually that's fine um, also, guys, our management port. Did we need any? Did we need any ports? So VLAN. So at this moment in time, guys, there's no need to assign any ports. So again, there's no interface there. I just needed the SDI. So how are we looking now, guys? So let's let's have a look. So at this moment in time, we've got most things configured. Let's check what we've done. We've created names, assigned VLANs, and switch one. Okay, that that looks all looks good. Um, we've configured a static gigabit zero slash one. Let's check that now, guys. Let's go show interface trunk. 
and just make sure that that's oh look at that guys look at the moment it's not in the correct native VLAN so what I need to do is I'm gonna go conf T I'm gonna go under interface gigabit zero slash one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say switch port trunk native VLAN and I'm gonna say our native VLAN was I think it was 88 wasn't it so 88 okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a look just to make sure that that worked show interface trunk oh just try that again with the T and what I can see now is the native is 88 okay let's see what we're missing guys because I can see we still 6% to get so again was there anything else here that we needed to do? Create name, your VLAN should match the names in the table. I think I've done that. I've got the static trunk, switch port mode trunk. I've got the, the name native VLAN. All ports that are not assigned to a VLAN should be disabled. Okay, that's something we haven't done. So let's have a look at what ports. So I know from the ports here, these are all in the VLANs. So again, these are all going to be up, up but there's also a no number of other ports on the switch. So for example, let's have a look at, let's say port one, two, three, four, five, they should be disabled or shut down. So what I'm gonna do now quickly is, I'm gonna go conf t, conf t, I'm gonna go interface, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go interface range, do this all at once, and I'm gonna say, Fast Ethernet, zero slash one dash, and let's see where they start. Five, those first five, and I'm gonna say shut. Okay, and then finally guys, so I've shut them down, I'm gonna go exit, what other ports need to be shut down? So again, I can see six to 10 are taken, 11 to 17 are okay, 18 to 24 are taken. It looks to me like just gigabit zero slash two is the only other port that needs to be shut down. So I'm gonna go gigabit zero slash two and I'm gonna say shut. Okay, and that looks good guys. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna do some connectivity tests because it looks as though I finished all of those different things. The last thing, verify connectivity. So what I'm gonna do now guys is I'm gonna just do a quick ping test. So I'm gonna move this off I'm gonna get rid of this for a moment and I'm gonna do a quick ping test. So out from my PC to my other PC, I'm gonna try a couple of tests. Okay, I'm gonna move these over. So again, let's try another test. Sometimes the first one will fail. Um, let's give that, I can see, there we go, guys, successful. Let's give another PC. So again, PC one to PC, uh, to PC three. So from VLAN 10 to VLAN 30. The first one usually fails due to ARP. Let's try another one. And do we have connection? Yes, we do. Successful. And the final test, guys, is can we ping our server over across the network? And again, I'm just going to try it a couple of times just to ensure. And let's give it a let's give it a second. You can see a couple of them failed, but again, if there's some arping to do, that's not going to be unusual. Let's just keep giving a couple of tests. Let's delete all of these and let's try it once more. Okay. Let's see if we're in progress. Again, seems like it's failed. Let's give it one more try just to make sure that everything is in place. Let's give it a go sometimes. And there we go, guys, success. Okay, so again, let's see. This next one should be successful as well. We had to arc for a number of traffic and we got success again. Okay, guys, so that's really it. This, is, this has been a, a useful challenge to understand inter-VLAN communication and I had to configure all of the sub-interfaces, all of the VLANs, the layer, two of, the, the layer two VLANs on the access switch and then I needed to disable some ports and some other tasks like setting the default gateway and ensuring that I can verify the communication from my different VLANs and to the server. Okay, I hope that's helped guys and thank you for viewing.